PBA equals Pennsylvania Bowling Association. PBA Bowling back on the air once again back here in Westgate Lanes in Austin, Texas. There's some of the women of Texas, which really not saying a lot in this uh, Austin, Texas area. We had to move to the seventh frame of the second matchup. Folks, this is where we had to use the randomizer. The randomizer is a little machine that we have here in PBA. What it does is that uh, whenever a bowler starts playing a game and gets injured or for some reason cannot continue to play, they are substituted with the bowler at a certain part of the frame, which therefore gives the substitute bowler a second chance. Oh, what a strike there by Chris Warren. So Chris Warren was lucky and got, and got input into it. And the reason he got input into it was because one of our bowlers showed up and um, here at PBA, we like to keep make sure that we have a, a good drug policy. So we had to give a, a sample urine test and he was disqualified because he, t he had tested positive for illegal drug usage in his urine. So we don't put up with that crap here at PBA. We like to have fresh, clean molars. Just like this kid, Chris Warren. You guys remember McCordick, the master of the accord. He's playing against Chris Warren. Oh, only nine pins down that time for Warren. Apparently, in Highland, Indiana, they uh, named Warren, Warren Elementary School after a cousin of this guy. I don't know why he was waving his arm like that. That didn't really change the uh, effect of the bowling ball hitting the pins or anything. I don't know. Maybe they do that as like part of this guy's like cultural heritage or something. I don't know. Could be a cultural heritage type thing. Warren throwing it and bam! Nails that pin on the right side. A nice spare there. We all remember McCordick. Trails by 29. That's the effects of the randomizer. You skip to a certain part of the frame with a certain X amount of pins, and uh, that's what happens. 45 right to a nice 115. Solid strike there by McCordick. The master of the Accord. Because he drives one. That's why he's the master of it. You can tell he's in Texas. That, that shirt up there is a little bit unbuttoned, letting some excess air. Same to do with this shirt. I really don't know what uh, Warren's worried about. He's only, you know, trailing, or he's not even trailing by pins. He's ahead, thanks to the randomizer effect. Cork staring the hole for those pins. He said they're not going to be standing when I'm done with them. 45, oh, right to about a 110. Gets nine pins down. He should have only had eight pins, but one of the pins rolled into that very rough one on the right side. Folks, I promise you, the next time we come back on the air, I am going to memorize the actual uh, number of these pins, like their actual numbers, like in pool how the balls are assigned numbers, and then I will definitely know how to call the action. Oh, and he picks up the spare. Good job there, my Cordic, the master of the Accord. Not the accordion, but the Accord, the vehicle. His vehicle to success. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to hit it because Chris Warren leads by 29 banks of the randomizer. What a draw he got. I think Warren believes that his bowling ball has to always be very clean when he throws it. Cleanness doesn't always perfect the bowling shot, though. 45, right into the 135. What a strike there. Warren's grandma's in the crowd. She's definitely happy about that. You know, if Chris Warren went through this game, he could maybe ask out one of those lovely ladies there in Texas about maybe going out for some, uh, going out for a beer or something after this game. I don't think he's going to lose with, with the randomizer working on his side. Man, how lucky is this guy? Determination on his face. 45, right to a 135. What a strike. Every single pin collapsed on, on that one. It's just like when you're tearing down a building and you blow it up with dynamite and everything just comes crashing down. It just comes crashing down to the bottom. Because what goes up must come down. Oh, 
Let's see what else more I can do. It seemed kind of weird on the last frame he stood back a little bit more. Oh, and only nine pins down. I wonder if that played a purpose in that. Maybe he was testing the water, so to speak, in the next game that he plays. Sometimes in PBA, when you go to these different bowling arenas, you always have to find out the right strategy that works for you. Sometimes standing up closer, sometimes standing back further. However many steps you take, look at Kordak. Just, oh! You know, that was kind of weird how Kordak blatantly stood up in his way that time. Like he wanted him to miss it. I think Kordak was just like, Shit, I gotta do something, man. So he stood up and got in his way, and he only got down one pin. That was kind of low on uh, McCordick's part. McCordick tries a nice 90-degree angle shot and gets a nice strike. Good job there by McCordick. He finishes fourth place. I don't know if, who else was in that uh, tournament or whatever, but yeah. I don't think he won this game, though. We haven't set, we haven't rang the bell. We haven't uh, made any announcements or anything about it. So theoretically, he hasn't lost yet. Oh, tried a domino rally effect there, but only got eight pins down. Yep, the randomizer, the machine that makes it all possible to always get ahead. Oh, a nice spare. Right down the middle. Chris Warren wins the match despite that spare, though. After all, thanks to the randomizer, you can't go wrong. You son of a bitch. What you were doing here, do you understand? Do you understand me? Yeah. And there's a look at the largest crowd ever to show up for the televised finals of the About Austin 50 Open. People were crowds all week long, and there you see some of the lovely ladies representing the state of Texas. Oh, they're so attractive! They'll be appearing in Maxim magazine.